80 million Americans suffer from some form of venous disorder. Of those suffering from this disorder, about 55% of women and 45% of men suffer from the painful, embarrassing, and sometimes debilitating symptoms of varicose veins. Varicose veins are the result of incompetent leg veins, also known as venous reflux disease. Let's discuss the causes, symptoms, and how varicose veins occur. In addition, we will review the Cool Touch laser treatment and how it is revolutionizing varicose vein treatment today. Heredity and family history are the most common causes of varicose vein development. In addition, age, obesity, pregnancy, and occupations which require prolonged standing are also important factors which increase the likelihood of developing varicose veins. I've had spider veins my whole life. I'm a hairdresser, so I've been on my feet for a lot of years, and I've had three pregnancies, and my mother has spider veins, so all those factors, I'm sure, are contributing to the fact that I had these ugly spider veins. And um, over the years, I've gone into various doctors and had them just done sclerotherapy on them cosmetically. And I didn't realize the pain I was in was caused so much from the veins. I didn't think I had varicose veins because I don't have big bulgy ones. The symptoms include leg pain, heaviness or fatigue that worsens throughout the day. Some experience restless, itchy or swollen legs. In advanced stages, it can cause ulcers in the affected lower leg. Many with venous reflux don't have the outward physical appearance of varicose veins, but still suffer with the symptoms just the same. A physical exam and non-invasive ultrasound can diagnose venous disease. The first visit that I came in to see Dr. Forrestal, um, he did an ultrasound on my both legs and found that I had um, varicose veins on both legs, even though they weren't outwardly bulging veins, they were there and that's what was causing all the spider veins and all the pain for me not being able to sleep. Let's discuss how varicose veins occur. Veins have one-way valves which route blood back toward the heart. When the valves in the veins fail to work properly, blood flows backwards down the leg and pools in the vein, enlarging the vein. The vein becomes rope-like and distends closer to the skin. Varicose veins are just one of the symptoms that can be caused by venous reflux disease. Historically, if you suffered with venous reflux, the only treatments available were compression hose, which are very uncomfortable and cumbersome and treat the symptoms only, not the cause, and a surgical procedure called vein stripping. Vein stripping is major surgery done under general anesthesia and often requires hospitalization. The recovery can be quite painful and prolonged. Vein stripping leaves multiple scars and most importantly, studies have shown that its long-term effectiveness ranges from 20 to 80 percent, meaning that the venous reflux and associated symptoms often recur. Today, with the advent of advanced technologies, there are new, less invasive treatments for venous reflux, among them a treatment called endovenous laser ablation. Laser ablation uses laser light waves to close the vein affected by venous reflux, and the body naturally reroutes the blood to other healthy veins, eliminating the symptoms. Even though there are several different endovenous laser treatments on the market today, it is important to know that your doctor has chosen the Cool Touch CTEV endovenous laser system to treat your venous reflux. Why? Because the Cool Touch CTEV employs the best technology of the endovenous lasers available. I started with the Cool Touch laser at 1320 nanometers. And I found out that uh, this uh, worked uh, even better than uh, what I had done uh, I'd worked with previously. What we found is that uh, there was uh, less uh, bruising and less pain. The uh, low uh, energy and uh, very slow pullback uh, allowed for a very controlled uh, type of uh, laser treatment. 
and uh, it uh, to this day has uh, been uh, extremely effective in use with both the uh, great and the small saphenous vein as well as many uh, tributary veins. The CTEV uses a 1320 nanometer wavelength and is the only endovenous laser that has an automated pullback device. This is important to you as these features provide the best patient outcomes available. The Cool Touch CTEV does not damage the tissue surrounding the vein as other endovenous lasers can. The difference, a more pleasing and comfortable outcome. You will experience minimal, if any, pain, bruising, and swelling from a Cool Touch CTEV endovenous laser procedure. And best of all, the CTEV procedure is extremely safe and has proven effective after just one treatment in over 95% of patients treated. The CTEV procedure takes about one hour per leg treated and is conducted right in your doctor's office using a local anesthesia, so you don't have any of the negative side effects that can accompany general anesthesia. During the Cool Touch CTEV procedure, a small single needle incision is made in the leg and a thin laser fiber is inserted into the varicose vein. The laser is then activated and as the fiber is moved through the vein, it gently heats and safely closes the vein. After the procedure, your leg will be wrapped in a compression bandage and you will go home to rest. Your doctor will schedule follow-up visits to monitor your progress. Most symptoms will begin to improve right away with the more severe symptoms such as skin ulcers taking one to two weeks to resolve. Some people affected by varicose veins also suffer from spider veins, which your physician may treat with sclerotherapy in a follow-up visit. I went to work the next day. Back standing on my feet, I worked for 12 hours the next day. The CTEV procedure is a fast, effective treatment for varicose veins. Patients find Cool Touch Endovenous Laser Ablation Procedure so easy and effective. They are telling all of their friends.